Display advertising is a popular type of digital advertising that works well. The graphics it uses are the only way it can get people's attention and raise brand awareness online. Display ads are a good way for marketers to get new customers and attract the ones they already have. Visual media like texts, photos, and even videos are used a lot to get people's attention. Display ads usually look like banners and can be found in certain places on websites and social media sites, graphic, or text. Display advertising includes all kinds of campaigns, from simple text ads to videos that catch your eye. Most effective display advertising campaigns use a mix of images, text, GIFs, and videos to stand out online and reach their target audience. Markers can try different things with the text, layout, shapes, and sizes of banners to make display ads that are more interesting. Now that you know what display advertising is, let's talk about it in more depth. One of the most important things about display advertising is that it can target specific parts of the audience that meet certain criteria based on what the advertiser wants. Display advertising's targeting feature makes sure that your ad is seen by the right people and that your advertising budget isn't wasted on people who aren't interested in your products or services. There are a lot of targeting options for display ads, which can make it hard to choose. Before making a choice, you should be sure what kind of demographic you want to reach. Here are some things you can do to get the most out of this feature. Targeting with display advertising is a complicated process. Find out the basic demographic information about your target audience, such as their age, gender, and interests. Choose your target keywords carefully so that you can get your product or service in front of the right people. The network of ads on screens opens a new window will compare the terms you enter with those on the publisher's website where your ad will appear. Keep in mind the subject. With this feature, you can choose a group of websites that have the same general topic or category as your business. Make the perfect place. You can choose which website your display ads will show up on. For example, if you want to reach people who buy a certain model of car, you could put ads on articles about that car, or even on pages that review products. Show ads that are relevant to what the user is interested in. Using information about how people use Google, you can run display ads that are related to what people are interested in. For example, a person who likes cars might look into tires, car stereos, etc. with interest-based display ad targeting. Your ad will show up on all pages that are relevant. Retarget based on what people did before. This display ad targeting feature, which is often called retargeting, lets you target people who have visited your website to make your brand more well-known and effective. Types of display advertising. For display advertising management to work, the main message of the campaign must be shown to the audience through graphics. The goal is to have people who visit a website or social media platform end up on an ad by accident. So, here are a few ideas you should try out when making your plan for managing your display advertising. Ad banners. Banner ads are the most common type of display ads because they are the ones that stand out the most on websites. They are called flags because their shape looks like a flag. These are just image-based ads in the shape of strips with links. They are usually put near the top of a page to catch the user's eye right away. Good news media. A third of people who use the internet find standard banner ads annoying, so companies are looking for more creative ways to show their ads. One new way to do things is to use rich media, which means adding interactive elements like video, audio, and clickable links to the commercial that make it more interesting and fun to watch. Advertisement breaks. These ads show up on a separate page before you go to the site you wanted to see in the first place. They get the user's attention because they take up the whole screen. Ad videos. The cost of video ads is a little higher than that of display ads, but they are still worth it. YouTube and Instagram make it easy for marketers to run video ads that get a lot of attention and interaction. Every business that uses display ads makes a big investment, so it makes sense that you'd want to get the most return on investment ROI, from your display ad spending. So, it is important to evaluate how well your plan for managing display advertising works. Here are four key performance indicators, KPI, that can help you measure the results of managing display ads. 1. Reach to figure out how many people saw your ad. You need to keep track of how many people saw it. 
This is shown by the unique number of times your display ad has been seen. You can keep track of how well your display ad management and targeting work, as well as how far your ad goes. If your ads aren't reaching the people you want them to, you should change your targeting criteria. 2. Impression An impression is the number of times an ad has been served to a user on a website or in some other place. When a commercial is shown, it makes an impression. Once you know how to measure this correctly, you can compare how well your ads do with how many people buy from them. If it looks like your impressions are going up but your conversion rate isn't, you might need to rethink how you manage your display ads. 3. How many times people click The number of people who have clicked on your ad is an important sign of how engaged they are. This number is called the click-through rate. In math, it is the number of impressions divided by the number of clicks. For example, if your ad is seen 200 times and 200 people click on it, your click-through rate is 10%. If your CTRs are low, it means you need to change how you manage your display ads or look at your targeting algorithms. 4. The rate of change. This is the most important metric to look at because the whole point of advertising is to get people to buy something. This rate shows how many people who visit your landing page take a certain action like downloading your app, signing up for a subscription, or buying something. A display ad network is a platform or service that lets you decide how your ads are shared among publishers, content categories, audience groups, and other ways to interact with people. It acts as a link between the content of your ad and the platform the customer wants to use. There are a lot of display ad networks, but the Google Display Network might be the best. Based on your current customer profiles, you can build retargeting campaigns that use data and better display ad conversion to find new audiences. Also, it has a smart automation feature that lets you make more money from the money you spend on display advertising. Google's software for managing display ads automates how much you spend on each ad and helps you choose the right audience to cut down on display ad costs. This promise is backed up by a number of display advertising case studies, and many brands have used display ad networks to get great business results. As an example, a hospitality company in London that used display advertising to boost sales by 44%. Using TripAdvisor's display advertising management platform, the company made sure their ads reached the right people. Using lifestyle photos and photos of the rooms was a smart way to reinforce the brand language and break through the 5,000 or more ads that people see every day, according to the hotel. As a result of this display advertising case study, the brand was able to improve its digital ad management for better upselling and cross-selling. The returns were eight times the initial display ad costs. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Using Google's display ad creator, Resort Quest was able to double the number of people who clicked on its ads. Using the Google Display Ad Network, Babson College was able to increase sales while cutting the cost per action by an amazing 67%. There are many examples of this kind of display advertising that could give you ideas for your next campaign or help you make it better. If your display ad campaign isn't giving you the results you want, think about the following. 1. Is the copy easy to read in full? Most people who see your ads won't have much time or attention to spare. Your ad needs to be short and to the point because they are already taking in a lot of information. Display ads let you identify and target certain demographic and psychographic types of users, so you should be careful about how you word them. 2. Do the design and color scheme match the way people think of the brand? Display ad management can depend on the style and color scheme chosen. There are amazing psychological connections between color and how people react to it. You can look at them and use what you learn when making the graphics for your display advertisements. Your ads shouldn't have too much going on, and the words should be easy to read. 3. Do I have too many ways to present my ad? Keep in mind that less is more when it comes to managing display ads. Since there are so many options, you might be tempted to mix and match different formats to get the best results. Still, a good campaign is clear, brief, and easy to understand. Don't try too hard to get people's attention, whether it's through your writing or the pictures you use. What marketers need to know about the benefits of display advertising.
Display ads have become a marketing mainstay because they stand out in most ad campaigns and can reach a large number of people all over the world. Even though technology has been around for a long time, it still changes quickly. This is because of the following benefits. Visually appealing. Since these ads are often graphic or visual, advertisers can try out different styles, shapes, sizes, and formats to see what consumers like. You have a lot of options when it comes to display ads. You can be as traditional or as unusual as you want. Effective targeting. With display advertising, you can choose your audience based on a number of factors, ensuring the highest level of engagement. Makes it possible to retarget the retargeted display ad you show them gives them the little push they needed to come back to your website. Analytical insights. You can use a program like Google Analytics for display advertising management to track how well your ads work.